The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday, third Friday of the month, therefore it's options expiration. Anything can happen here. What we're all looking at is uh, within the context of the markets, and of course, uh, being Friday, it's the end of the week, so we're going to be watching very closely to see whether we get some pullback in some of the areas that we've been uh, talking about. Most importantly, the Dow is down um, minus 20, 265 at 35,605. We've spoken about how it was important to, uh, to, to monitor what happened off the little doji candle at 36,565. Um, on the 8th of November, where we actually went short within 40 points. We have taken some profits there. We need to get back in again on the short side. We're looking at uh, the, the Dow being very weak, the IWM, the Russell 1000, uh, 2000, also being very weak. It's gone from 244.46 uh, down to the current price of 232. That's 12 points down. Uh, that's the Russell 2000. You've got the QQQ. Um, what have we got up? 266 and 404 all-time high leg D. This is where we start to look for a potential turnaround. We've attempted that. We're looking at uh, the uh, the uh, did that did that did that the S and P. As I said, the S and P is a very mixed market here. Close to the all-time high, 47.18.50. It's at 47.10 right now. What's really important about this is you've got the SMHs, the semiconductors, very mixed market there. You've got some some of the semis pulling back, but you've got Nvidia, which had a beautiful day. You've got Applied Material, um, AMAT, sharply down, down six at 152. You've got MU, you've got Micron, and a breakout to the upside in the short term, but well underneath the. Uh, um, high of about 98, all-time high. It's trading at 80 right now, up 3.30. That's a big move. So we're going to be watching the semis very closely here. Let's go on to gold. We're looking at gold, and gold right now is uh, trading in this range. of I got this oval pattern here. And what this is is you've got a couple of things going on. One is there could be a rollover as gold starts to pull back. It's had a really good move above the trend line, major trend line in the Chapman Falling Axe formation, uh, that blue trend line. It's at 1862 right now, up just over a dollar. But if it breaks out and goes above 1881, it doesn't have to close. If it just goes above 1881, I have to consider that there's a potential for the Chapman Wave stalk leg formation, which says you get a strong move up. And then you make a pattern that is not a rectangle. It is very visually, it looks like an oval. And then it breaks to the upside. And it breaks to the upside, making this a leg, a body, the neck, and then the beak of the, of the stalk leg formation. I know I always nickname these things. Um, comes back into the body. So what happens after this? I'll just make it real easy. It close under 1842. It says, uh-oh. Time for a breather in goals at a spectacular move. Needs a bit of a break. And a breakout into the 1881-82 level says really good action. Let's just look at silver here. Silver SI trading up a little bit, up 0.09 at 24.99. Uh, really, it's hugging this 200-period moving average. It broke above it. This has been the focal point up and down like a like a, like a yo-yo, like a uh, like a like a. I'm trying to think of what the oh like a, like on a kebab they you are know, spinning around going above and then below but you got the midpoint right here the, the it's on the stick and what really is important is that if silver breaks under closes under 2440 um, that's going to be saying uh oh goes back into the sideways rectangle sideways uh, basically the continuation pattern of this move that says big move up and then takes a breather. But if it suddenly starts trading at 25.75 or higher, that's a that's a breakout for silver. Let's go to high grade copper. High grade copper had a nice day today uh, coming off the 200 period exponential moving average. We're looking at this very closely because if uh, high grade copper is able 
over the next two weeks, going to like that first week of December, trading in the 4.65, 4.71 area, that creates this cup formation that's very positive. If it kind of stalls here and just hugs the, between 4.47 and 4.18 support, that's that just says, okay, not doing much, but if it breaks under 4.18 in the next couple of days, that's going to be a negative. Let's put that together. I like to put that together with wood, which I do for my subscribers to my opening call on a weekend, uh, Saturday or Sunday, when I do my long uh, overview uh, web, uh, video. Um, we're looking at wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF, kind of stuck in a range here in the lower range between a 92 and 83. Uh, this is peak A, peak B. This is basically what we're looking at. This is global. So global copper and global timber and forestry says there's a kind of a slowdown in the international this economy. That's what it's saying to a certain extent. Um, we'll see what happens here. Uh, watch an 80, 85, 88, no, 88.70 to 86. Good move. 85 to 80. 85.50 to 84 says, uh-oh, stuck in the range, not going anywhere. I want to do this um, now, just before I go to the dollar. I want to show you crude oil. Look at this move. We had pinpointed back when it made a high of uh, um, 85.41 in October, October the 25th. It pulled back and then ran up. That's where we shorted it, took profits. It ran at a big move up. Hit the, this inside track repellent line. Of course, this changes. It's a move because it's a continuous contract. I always have to change the uh, trend lines. The, the chart, the price changes, but the chart never changes. And the, uh, the name, the Chapman Wave notation never changes. Just I've got to change the because of the price. So these prices uh, have to be moved a little bit. Uh, lower down, and it's in a leg seat to the downside weekly chart. By the end of the day, I might have to call this a sell signal in the weekly. Sell mode in the daily and crude oil, sell in the weekly. Oh, watching this closely. Uh, let's go to the um, the dollar. The dollar right at this particular moment is trading uh, up 30 ticks at 95.84. It all just missed making a leg D in the Chapman Wave methodology. I'll, a technical Friday, let me just do this. In the Chapman Wave methodology, we try to identify the lowest low bar. It's a very simple technique. You just count and alphabetize sequentially with uppercases, uh, uppercase letters all the way from A to B to C to D to E to F to G. Seven peaks. That's the, that's the basis of it, and there's never an H. So it's at peak D, the fourth highest peak that you can get a recycle. That's where you can get the deepest pullback. Um, many things happen. So buy signal gets upgraded to a buy mode. The implication is it should go to at least a D. From a D, other things can happen, the techniques to follow. And what we are looking at is... Um, Basil, I've got the diamond 355 calls that expired today. Any thoughts down 355 and it's trading at 350. Oh, we've got to go to that as soon as we can, Dan. I will, um, because that's pertinent because it's, it's the options on the daily. Um, let me just say that the, di the dollar that went to a high of 96.24, the high um, today is 96.24. Could turn out to be a peak C1, C2, but so far looks strong enough to try to attempt the leg T. Always try to get that leg T. I'll be back in a moment. We're looking at the diamonds. Our uh, diamonds. Oh, okay. Let me just do that on a very short term basis. And I'm going to go to the YM. And I'll, keep, I'll go to that in the 10 minute chart. That's right. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is Dan in New York. The, the, the diamonds are trading at 356.3. And you said you've got the 355 calls. So I'm, I'm going to suggest now, probably you, even though you are at this right at this moment, your 355 calls are trading based on the 356.36 price of the diamonds right now. If you bought them right at this moment, Every single move up would appreciate, and if it went a little higher than 356.55, um, you would suddenly see a premium for the first time today rather than a shrinkage. But my guess, and you haven't said so, is that you're actually in a losing position because of the premium, the shrink, and the big gap down today. I mean, one moment it's trading yesterday like at 359.60, and now we're trading at 356.31. So the only way I can deal with this is that very often on options expiration, the market goes one way in the early morning, and then looks like it's about to rally and you don't know. Now, uh, let me talk about this because this is part of my market psychology. There are times in the marketplace where the general folks who are looking, and this would include professionals, amateurs, it doesn't matter. They say, oh, they just knocked it down. We don't know who the they is, but let me put it this way. I, I've been, and, and I don't do much of it now. I used to do a lot in the options, and I used to tease the option. I used to put it in, and I take the bit away, and then I put it, and I place it, and do all sorts of fancy things. But, uh, oh, oh, you just bought it. So now, you, oh, so are you are you in the money right now? Because I can explain exactly what to do right, that I would do if, I, if you were in the money. Just tell me. But what, this is the whole thing. You don't really know, and the moment that the market starts to do something, it's not like they know what they do, and that is uh, the people who have the bigger money, start to go with the trend. They didn't know three seconds before what they were going to do, but once the momentum goes in a particular way, they'll just add on and add on and add on. And that makes it very difficult um, to, to just give a blanket, oh, it's going to do something. 
what I am going to say to you is that as it stands right now, the big thing is that you've got this huge mix between the strength of the Qs and the weakness of the of the Dow and the weakness of the IWM, even the S&P is starting to pull back a little bit. But minus two, when the Dow's down 250, I mean, come on, that's a huge divergence. So I'm going to use the momentum theory right now. Right now, the rally that looked like it was rallying from the 355, uh, say 60 level, up to where it just hit 350, 56. Um, I'm just guessing right now, so let me do it by the statistics. Uh, 356.43. The people who had options, and like you, the people who did this, the daily ones on expiration Friday, um, they thought, good, good. Now it's going towards, it's, it's away from the 355s. It's moving higher. I'm going to tell you this, that if, if you go in the money with just a little bit of a gain, I would just scale. I know that you usually don't buy one or two. You buy quite a few. Start to take off to say that I've nailed some of the profit from early this morning. And then what you need to do is to try to use, I, I, I don't know if you're using your MACD and stochastic, but you see the stochastic's kind of weak and the nine is hugging the nine. It can't get away from this pink nine period moving average. You want to see the nine turn green. So what I'm going to say is to protect the downside, because anything can happen right now. You've got about another 15 to 25 minutes if it's, if the Dow starts to fail to make a nice move from minus 240 to just just 208 to minus 198, there could be another selling wave, especially if the S&P and the, and the uh, Qs start to pull back a little bit. So this is one of the toughest things. This is the moment that is the most toughest. You've got a flat, your premium is shrinking. In fact, I don't think there's going to be too much premium, but the premium is shrinking. You want a sudden pop up. And on every big, you want to have something remaining for that, the, the lottery that you're playing for the end of the day. If there can be a big spike, you've got the Fed announcement coming up. You've got, I believe it said, let's see, someone again said, EKA said breaking. House passes Biden's bull back better plan, uh, sending it to the Senate. I wonder if I've ever heard any of the senators actually say bull back better without any making a, a tongue twister slip. Um, anyway, we'll see what happens then. That's, that's still... Um, it still has to be sent over to the Senate. So that's just one phase. Um, so all I'm saying to you is watch this closely and on every single pop-up, maybe take one off each time so that you're just guaranteeing yourself a, a, a profit. And then if you want, you can use that profit to say, I'm going to hold on because the way it's looking right now, my suspicion is we're at 1025 right now, 1023 uh, in the morning Eastern time. Somewhere between 10 to 12, just as Larry's show is finishing, into 12.35, 12.36, just a little after 12.30. That's when you're going to get a sense of what they, the, the big money that is, are, are doing. Because if you're suddenly seeing 356.75, 356.83, 356.92, that money is going to charge right in. And try to grab as much as possible to push push the diamonds a little higher, and that's where you want. That's why you want to have something left over. And the reason why you want to be taking a little bit of money off on each on each pop up is because you want to guarantee that this flat. Look, I'm going to draw the rectangle. The rectangle of the top says there's a good chance you're going to pop once over the top and then come back into the rectangle. The rectangle at the bottom, which this is. Well, look at this, how long we've been in the rectangle since 10.04 this morning, and now it's, this is one minute chart. This is 24, 25 minutes, bars later. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's just stuck. Is that in this particular instance, you might get one pop to the downside to 355.50, and then it tries to get back into the 356.15 area. So what I'm saying to you is this is a very tough one. If you had to say to me right now, I'm buying the diamonds, or the puts in the 350, in the three, I, this is, if there is a 356 at this point, I would say I would just be grabbing money off all the time. And I, I don't think, unless there's a, a, a 30 cent move one way or the other, it's just kind of stuck. So wait for that 25 to 30 cent move to the upside. And that's going to, if it's a, a quick pop up, I would say, okay, that's going to go, have to, has to go on a, a lot more energy. 
your biggest thing is if the diamonds by some crazy action at uh, 3 10 this afternoon starts to really rally and go to the 356 70 350 actually i don't have to tell you you'll know what to do if it really starts to scream hold on to those as tight as you can and see if you can run it all the way until it stops dead for three full minutes and then just take something off again so it's, it's actually a fun day for you because I think you right now you're in the money so you can have a little bit of fun with it and maybe make either just nothing or make quite a bit. And the bias right now is that it's, it just seems to be a little more weakness and it's flat so you do want to see that sudden burst of strength. All right, that's enough. Let's go on to the next thing. A question about AMT. It's a, AMT is, this is the tower, American tower. Back in a moment, it just popped up nicely, but it's come, it come down sharply. I'll be are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman here, and we're looking at AMT, which is American Tower Corporation. I uh, don't have to tell you what they do. They do American Towers. Now, the monthly chart has made it a peak C. There's a chance that this could be alternate count G-C. One of the reasons being uh, the MACD did rally, but it's now much lower than it was at the previous high back in June, July of 2020, uh, when it was in the 270s and it hits 302-ish uh, or so. And now it's pulled back and the stochastic back under the 80% level. The weekly chart is just very technically um, um, 
all poor all around. Everything from the nine period, just going under the 14 period moving average. The uh, MACD's weak. You've got the dreaded H pattern where it's gone below the left side low, but it has rated above it. That's at about 260. It's trading right now 263.08. Uh, it had this huge peak C failure pattern right there. That's where you've got the dreaded H in the daily. But it has, within three bars, gone above the left side low. So I, all in all, what I'm thinking, this is a nice bounce. Now, in a, in a long-term position, I this is a stock. I mean, just let me show you something. I haven't got it. I used to have it fully notated. Now it's not not fully notated. But from the low that was made in 2016, below 100, it's just steadily walked the nine-period moving average. It, it hasn't gone red once. The green nine period moving average above the 14 period moving average, and this is look at the, look at this chart. It's just been a spectacular winner from the, the low of about 19 or 20 back in 2008, actually before the 2009 market low. Um, it's just been fantastic. In fact, look at this. I'm going to do this on my uh, the chart that I. This is what I used when I was doing my um, when I was doing my uh, uh, Boston Investors Group talk the other night. And I said, let, let's just use this as a, an example of one little technique that can really keep you in trades longer than you ever anticipated. And look, American Tower, daily is pink, it's turned down. This is using just the nine. When the nine period moving average goes below the 14, it turns pink. When it goes above, it turns green. Remember, I had used this about 15 years ago. Late Herb Brun did this for me. Um, now, let me show you this in a. That's the weekly. Yes, it went pink, and now it's close to going pink. In fact, by next week, that will be pink. You've already got that showing up there, but not on the chart. It's on the 9 EMA itself, but the chart says S, which means sell. That just, that's because it means underneath. And now look at the monthly. Using the monthly, since the low of 2009, it's been green. So this is a fantastic instrument. Long term, I, I love that. Uh, that it's it's just you've got one indicator that's just been absolutely a phenomenal indicator for it. So that's one thing. But on the short term basis, oops, on the short term basis, I suspect that there's going to be. Uh, let me see. I don't even have that anymore. Let me get out of there. I suspect that the daily is just this is a bounce, and that 200 period moving average of 265. That's something to watch. I suspect there's a gap up. Ah. Let me do this. The low yesterday was 253.40. Today, uh, it's got a higher low, and the high it's trading almost at the high of 263.73, 4.77. Maybe this is part of the infrastructure bill. So I don't want to just on a purely technical basis say, oh, stay away, stay away. I'm saying if it's responding to a particular bill at this point, if that bill is going to get passed, Maybe this is going to participate. Our American Tower, obviously, it's in that area of, of uh, infrastructure. Now, what I am going to say is you can make it as simple as possible. Um, I don't know what you want to do with it. Uh, Basil, please. Thoughts, today's action in AMT, is this a hedge against inflation? I'm not going to think of it as inflation at all. I'm rather going to think of it as the potential to benefit from any package that's coming out um, and that's more the I would look at it. It has a bit of a dividend, not much, but it has a bit of, as I recall, I would not treat this as a dividend type stock. And I wouldn't treat it as a hedge for inflation type stock. It's kind of independent in its own world. And just look, follow the chart, you'll see. It's just an independent view. Look at that spectacular move from the low of 2000. And then it gave almost all of it back where the market was doing well. So think of it more as just independently. Um, I like this move. I'm going to suggest if you're looking at it as the potential for a short term successful bounce that goes to an intermediate term position, potential position, then right here, I would start an entry at 264.12. Make it, I, you don't even have to give it a, a stop of um, underneath the low of uh, yesterday, 253.40. To me, 12 points. On a twenty twenty two hundred sixty four dollars stock, even that is just too much. Why? Because if by Monday it goes takes out your, your low of today, which is two fifty nine, um, that would be a negative. So start your position. Use two fifty nine. I'm not even sure I'd put it in as a stop because intraday you could pull back and then close higher. 
But I'm just saying to you, I like the action today. And here's one thing to keep in mind. If it surpasses this big gap from the low of the 12th of uh, November of 271.60 was the low, the next day the high is 268.54. If it closes at any point for two out of three sessions above 272, preferably going touching 274, that would be the best thing you've seen because it says it's filled in whatever made that gap down and it's now ignoring it and is moving the new buyers at the, from the right side, new buyers from the left side. All the people on the left side are saying, you know, I like this. I'm going to, I didn't get out. I'm going to actually add to it. Or oh, I did get out and I want to get back a little bit back in. So that's the way I would look at it. So start a little bit here, 263.66. You would have to give it in for Monday to see what happens. It could gap down. I don't know, but I'm just saying I don't like the fact that it made a lower right side move in the weekly chart, but I do like the action from yesterday to today just as like a starting position. And I'm just going to tell you the 120-minute chart, starting to see the technicals improve, but the 9 hasn't gone above the 14. It really needs to get you 265.30, and that'll be an improvement. So, yes, just a nibble. And we'll look at it again maybe Monday or Tuesday. All right, that's that. Next question was, um, look at W. You know, I look at W a lot because Wayfair uh, came out and it was just a spectacular stock. I've put it on my list as my watch list as a stock that could be in the running again to find favor. It's gone from a high of 369 down to the 220s. That's a whopping re retreat from its all-time high. Oh, was that the all-time high? Uh, yes, from its all-time high at a peak B. It made a peak F at 173 back in 2019, plummeted to 2190, uh, March, the week of March the 20th. Uh, March the 3rd, 2020, 2190 was the low. And then it screamed up to 369. I mean, $21 to 369 is incredible. So what I am saying is, for me, this is in play. I just, I think once we try to get in, maybe we missed, maybe we got, I can't remember offhand. But I know I'm always looking at it. Let me just check. It's on my list. Oh, I forgot to go to Mark. Mark, Mark. I uh, was holding and I said to uh, Al, my engineer, I'll be back. Mark, you're there. Sorry to keep you waiting. What do you want to look right. at? All right, no worries. Hi, how you doing? Right. You want you want you to look at OIH. Okay. Oh my, it's OIH. We'll be back with Mark. I'm so sorry. We'll be back with Mark. OIH, the oil service ETF is down nine to one eighty five. We spoke about this when it was a two twenty two. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it could seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, we're back. Just let me tell Dan, uh, your, your diamonds, DIA 35637, it needs to clear decisively this, this little break right here, this pop up to uh, 356.43 at 1016 this morning. You want to just see it and Boeing uh, might even help it a little bit. All right, let's get back to Mark. Mark, you want to look at the OIH and uh, OI. That's what it looks like. Yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking too. The daily and the weekly look awful. The monthly still in, uh, is made a peak C, and I played this once before for a pretty nice profit. I got out a little too early, um, and I'm wondering if you think it's got a, a – where the buy point is if we think it's going to make a monthly peak D. So let me do this. I've got this as a rectangle in the monthly chart for those who are looking here. Um, but most importantly, my visuals say that there's a chance that this is making an oval pattern, and that makes the, um, the levels to watch a lot clearer. And what it basically says is the oval cannot be a rectangle. In other words, you want to see higher highs on the upside, and then a sharp move down, and then higher lows. So it doesn't look like a rectangle. It actually looks like an oval. And, and right now it's at a critical level. The monthly chart is the ni nine period moving average is still green. The 14 period moving average is uh, just a little bit below it. But most importantly, the, the oval pattern will completely change if the OIH starts to break 183. <clears throat> and if you're looking at the weekly chart, the, the for those of you who know my work very well, you know that I often chart the patterns and I show you a sine wave, a sine wave move that essentially sees one arch, then another a cup, and then an arch and a cup, and it can do that, basically forming a rectangle formation. But most importantly, if you look at crude oil, we put the two, they don't always go exactly the same, but in direction they usually do. Not necessarily percentage or anything like that. But if you look, the way crude oil is pulling back here, it finally, uh, it's finally weakening the monthly, sorry, the weekly chart. But the weekly chart 9 is still strongly above the 14. Uh, the price is at 76.43. Resistance is now 77.56. But it is touched, as it's touched already today, the 14 period moving average. And that's just suggesting 75, 74, that once the 14 period moving average has been touched, and you can actually see it even here in the daily chart, and pierced, it isn't pierced yet, then you start to see a certain vulnerability in that moving average, the, the faster moving average, as it starts to pull back under the 14 period moving average, or on the way up, it would be going from pink to green. In this case, it's gone already from green to pink. So I'm just using that to say, in a, in a way, we've got to treat that as a benchmark of the route. Even though this is oil service and there's a whole big, there's a, there's a delay, there's a whole bunch of things that happen between the price of oil and eventually actually getting it uh, into the service part of it. So what I'm going to say to you is that the 200 period moving average of 195.14 uh, and we're trading at 
that's 10 points lower, it makes that really strong resistance. And look at the steepness of, the, of, of everything to the downside. So now I'm going to ask you, what's, what, what are you thinking would be a plan that you'd be wanting to look at? Well, the only thing I can see on the charts is if there, there, there was a rising trend line on the weekly, but it's broken below that. There's still a rising trend line on the monthly. So I'm kind of looking at maybe where that rising trend line on the monthly um, from the lows to that next dip <clears throat> end up. I'm thinking maybe there's a buy point in there, but I just, would, just wanted to get your thoughts. <clears throat> yeah, my thoughts are... And that's the reason why we we actually started that position uh, on the SCO, the uh, two times short uh, the uh, OIHs. Now we're out of that. <laughs> right, and now, and now we're out of it, which is a great. You know, this is the same as the the diamonds the, as the DXD. We got just fractionally taken out, and right. it just didn't give us a chance to get back in. But that also said to folks who are in the area, get out, get out, be careful, which is that's really the purpose of all this. But if you're looking at the OIH with my Chapman wave. Uh, uh, automated support and resistance levels is taken out all the support levels. 192 was the last one. Um, you've got 192.38 in the 120-minute uh, chart. I've got in the, uh, let's see what that is there, hiding away. In the 10-minute chart, 181.24 uh, monthly chart. I've got very few until you go down to the 155 area. So that just says to me, I, I use this more as a guide than anything else. Look how I picked out the top perfectly over there in the daily chart. But I like to just, I have my own other, other techniques. And I'm just saying to you, I don't think it's, it's ready yet because that crude oil, you know, when I try to put it together with the wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF and high-grade copper, my sense is that there's actually an economic slowdown uh, around the world. Um, and that we have been benefiting up until now. And if you look at the, I did this when I did my Boston Investors Group, um, I was the guest speaker the other night. I was showing, look, R, uh, RCL, this is Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines or Caribbean Cruise Lines. Um, look at that Eiffel Tower pullback. This is Cruise Lines. Um, and look at Marriott Hotel. So I think we, there's an, the market is saying to me that there's actually weakness in many areas and it's being held up very selectively by certain, like an NVIDIA, like an Apple, like a, you know, like a, uh, even a, a Netflix and, and uh, uh, Amazon. But in fact, looking through this, I sense that we are very close to some kind of economic pullback that I think is going to weaken the market for a little bit. And as it's doing that, we're going to then watch what happens to something like a Marriott International, which is down uh, from an all-time high. Of, in a, was, I'm pretty sure that was an all-time high. I usually follow this closely. Yep, that was an all-time high in a leg D in the monthly chart at 171.68, and it's trading now at 154. So surely, and, and look at Jets, the uh, global, um, Jets should be soaring right now if crude oil is pulling back so sharply. Jets is the U.S. global Jets ETF. Nothing. It's down. It's had a, a, a move just in the last two weeks from 25 down to 22. In fact, today's low is 21.79. So I'm just saying I give it a little time. So <laughs> this is a long way around. I could have done it in one in one word and, and said no. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm looking at I'm looking at that rising trend line hitting. Hitting the the chart on the monthly, maybe in the 150. So I'll just kind of keep an eye out for that. And if you have a it, moment and you want, you have time, I, I, look at Square for me. Um, I've yeah. got a position just a little bit under here. And if it if it doesn't hold this 225 area, I'm going to probably get out. But yeah, now, anyway, so Square is very very disappointed. Square Inc. This is a point of sale software mining, uh, managing receipts down to 94 today, 227.32. Look at this. It's been one of my favorites from the day. It was an IPO. In fact, we had it for just a brief moment, and then I always miss it. And then I just said, I, I can't do anything for months now. I've been saying something is wrong. So I'm just going to say to you that there was an upgrade yesterday, I think it was, the day before, and it failed to do anything. Couldn't get out of the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Hold off on square. I tell you what I'd be doing. If it's at the 218, 215 level, 
in the next two, three weeks, then I'm going to have another look at it. But right now, this is a time that it should be really doing well, but it's not. So hold off. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. Uh, Mark, I'm not sure if you're still there. Uh, I think you've gone... Yeah, well, thank you very much for calling. So let me just do this. A whole bunch of questions came in. Rivian, um, can you take a look at Rivian? I'm still profitable and long uh, thousand shares. I'd like to hold for the long term and ride the EV wave with the stock primarily because of Amazon and Ford. They're in a large stake support of this company. What do you think? Uh, all the best. So, you know, I, I'm with you. I agree. If you've got a sponsor, it means that every time you pull back, you're going to be uh, in the long term. I don't know if I, I would have a, a thousand shares. You're long from a hundred. You're in a profitable position. I would I would make my call five hundred. And the five hundred I keep. Remember, I spoke about this the other day. I said every time there's a big move up. Take something off. Try to build up a big kitty, and it wouldn't be as big as a thousand. But look at it. Look what happens if just let's say on there's a market pullback for whatever reason uh, going into Wednesday of next week. What if it pulls back to 105, and you haven't taken anything off yet? So treat, this is an IPO. You've got a story out there, but you can't just trade a story. So I'm just saying. My thinking here is that even 750 and then 250, you just keep taking off all the time, whatever you can. And you might lose some, but you're trying to build a kitty to say, 
this is a long-term position. I like the idea of the long-term position, uh, but we don't know what's going to happen. So just real quickly. Now that, that so that's one thing. Number one is uh, the other thing. I did. I don't think I finished the W Wayfair. This is a really good move at 279. It makes the whole area of 260 to 256 very strong support. It's really a, a rectangle in the weekly chart and the monthly. But I like this so far. Um, Robex, yeah, Robolex. I'll do that in this off news program. When I'm on, uh, when I do Tom O'Brien's program, he's away today. I'm taking over at 3 p.m. the Tom O'Brien show. It's going to be a pleasure to be there. And let me just quickly get the dive to see how it does. Oh, it does. At least on the area. Have a great day. I'll be back. Stay tuned for Larry, and I'll be back.